Does your native mail app take up too much storage on your Mac device? In this video, I will demonstrate how to clear the space occupied by the mail app on your Mac. So let's get started. The first solution is to delete emails and large attachments. First, identify that the storage problem is due to the mail app. To do this, go to the Apple menu, select System Settings, select General, and click on the Storage section. Wait for a few seconds to load the graph. As you can see here, the green color indicates the space taken by the Mail app. Alternatively, scroll down and click on the Info button next to Mail. You can check how much space is being used by the Mail app. We can't delete emails from storage, so click on the Open Mail option. Now, delete unnecessary emails, drafts, and attachments that you no longer need. To delete multiple emails, press the Shift key and select the emails. Then, hit the Delete button. To identify large messages, navigate to the View menu, select Sort by Size. If you use IMAP accounts, download the attachments before deleting them to stop the server from deleting them. Now let's see how to delete only the attachment. Follow the next step. Click on the View menu at the top and select Sort by Attachment. To delete the attachment only, select the email, click on the Message menu at the top, and select Remove Attachment. The second solution is to use smart mailboxes to track old emails and delete them automatically. With this, we can easily sort the emails and delete them manually. Launch the Mail app, go to the Mailbox menu at the top, and select New Smart Mailbox. Now, choose options from the drop-down menu. For example, I am selecting the entire message that contains Hey, and click OK to confirm. As you can see here, the smart mailbox is added here. Here are more than 20 emails that start with a Hey message. Let's move to the third solution, Empty the Trash. Keep the Mail app open and navigate to the Mailbox menu. Then select Erase Deleted Items and choose your account. A message prompt on your Mac screen says that erasing deleted items, such as messages and mailboxes, permanently deletes them. You can't undo this action. So please make sure you are ready to delete the mailbox and click the Erase button. Alternatively, go to the Trash folder and hover over the mail. Then, press the Control and click to view the options. Select the Delete option. Repeat the same steps to remove remaining trash messages. That's it. The fourth solution is to rebuild mailboxes. Doing this helps remove cached content and re-download the necessary mail and attachments. Launch the Mail app and click on the Mailbox menu at the top. Then, click on the Rebuild option. This process removes the cache on your Mac. Besides, you can follow the fifth solution, Manage Email Rules. You can use Mail Rules to delete older messages automatically. So launch the Mail app, go to the Mail menu at the top, and select the Settings option. And select the Rules tab. Click on Add Rule and write the description of your Mail Rule, like Auto Delete Emails Older Than One Year. Then you can select the Priority, Account, date sent, or date received, etc. Multiple options are available. In my case, I am selecting the date received option. Then, set the formula from the drop-down menu and enter the number of days. For example, 365. Afterward, under the Perform the Following Actions section, select Delete Message from the drop-down menu. Then, click the OK and Apply buttons. Now, let's see the sixth solution. Use Finder and Delete Mail Stuff. Launch the Finder app on your Mac and click on the Go menu at the top. Then, select Go To Folder and type the following path displayed on the video screen. Or you can press shortcut keys like Command-Shift-G to open the Go To folder. If you don't find the mail contents, type the path displayed on the video screen. Then, delete the contents of this folder. You can also prevent unwanted attachments from taking up your storage space. For that, follow the seventh solution to change the attachment settings in the mail. With these settings, you can adjust the received emails with attachments, for example, spreadsheets, zip, and others. So let's see the steps. Launch the Mail app from the Mac dock or use Spotlight Search. Then click on the Mail menu at the top and select the Settings option. Afterward, go to the Accounts tab and select your Mail account. Then go to the drop-down menu next to the Download Attachments option. Three options are available, All, None, and Recent. If you choose All options, all attachments will be downloaded. Choose the Recent option to allow downloading the attachment file in the last 15 months. Or you can select the None option to restrict all attachments received with emails. 
Here I am selecting the None option. If you have manually deleted the messages and they are still available in the Mail app, follow the eighth solution. Use Mailbox Behaviors, Auto Trash, or Archive. Please note that this method doesn't read or delete your emails automatically. It will move deleted emails to the trash. For IMAP, iCloud, and Exchange accounts, launch the Mail app on your Mac computer and go to the Mail menu. Select Settings. Afterward, choose the Accounts tab and select your Mail account. Then, go to the Mailbox Behaviors tab. Then, move deleted messages to the trash mailbox. Also, choose the option to erase deleted messages. You can set it to erase deleted messages either after they are one month old or when you quit mail. To clear the space occupied by the Mail app, follow the ninth solution, Clear Envelope Index. Force quit the Mail app from the top menu bar and launch Finder. Click on the Go menu and select Go To Folder. Type the path displayed on the video screen and find the mail data. If the V10 folder is not available, check V9 or V8 as per your Mac version. Then, delete the files displayed on the video screen. Now, relaunch the Mail app and check if the problem is fixed. If the problem persists, go through the 10th solution, remove unused accounts from Mail. If you have multiple accounts added to the Mail app, remove the account that you no longer use. Launch the Mail app, go to the Mail menu at the top and select Accounts, or go to the Apple menu, select System Settings, and scroll down to Internet Accounts. Then, select your account and click on the Delete Account button. A message prompts and asks for permission to keep a copy of your data, such as contacts, iCloud calendar, passwords, and keychain. So click on Make a Copy. If backup is available, hit the Cancel button and follow the account deletion steps. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for the latest tips and tricks videos.